Hey, 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 everybody. Hi, welcome to Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. It's me, Rob, and we're back at it. <clears throat> it's June 11th, 2024, 5.45 p.m. California time. And what are we back at? We're back at doing some more MSA um, oddball cards. Michael Schechner and Associates, Inc. And so, once again, busted out one of these early um, discs. And this would be like a equivalent of a salesman sample that they would give up to um, different companies like Tasty Freeze or Isley's or um, you name it. Try to get them to buy these discs and put their logo, their company logo on the back. Give them out as a premium or a food issue or whatever. And um, <clears throat> so... We've been doing a lot of MSA lately. I still got some more to do. Now keep in mind people, some of these cards I've already done videos on before, but I'm kind of trying to chunk lump all my MSA videos together. So um, we'll be going over some um, repeat stuff probably, but that's okay because those old videos nobody probably watched anyways. Anyhow, so today is a Tuesday. I got to work tomorrow and then I took off a couple days for special couple occasions on Thursday and Friday and um, but wife had to go do um, some corporate dinner they're, they're doing a bunch of CEOs came in from out of the country so they're all going to eat so I'm gonna do some old-style class baseball cards early this way I can go to sleep tonight on a reasonable time all right folks so there we go, MSA. I don't know. I got two sets that I want to show you. I don't know if I'll be able to get to both of them. Um, I guess I'm at 107 subscribers, but I didn't say who the person was. So thank you for subscribing. Anyone else, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what kind of thing y'all think I should do for my 100 subscriber contest if I do one. Uh, but nobody's really commenting, so who knows? Maybe we won't. <clears throat> All right, folks. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go in theme. Not so much. We you know we did the Rost and Perina cards. And, you know I have this one here, but these are the tops. And I don't want to do tops yet. I want to get to doing like tops all together, like I'm doing these MSAs. So what I'll do first is because these are older. And more around the same time as those um, <clears throat> Rost and Perina serial cards, the King B discs, and um, all the stuff that I've been doing recently. So um, I'm going to do this again, which is the Chef Boy RD 1988 first annual collector's edition. I ordered these off eBay maybe five months ago maybe six months something like that I do have this complete set in the um, un uncut sheet but they're all perforated like this as you can tell so that sheet that you the only way well let me alright <clears throat> the only way you can get these cards from Chef Boyardee was you would go buy like a can of raviolis or spaghettios or um, beefaroni and all that stuff and it would say get your collector's cards by buying Chef Boyardee and then what would happen is you would have to take off the label off the can I don't know how many let's say three or two three maybe five something like that you'd have to take that label off the side of the can and then send it in with the um, you know like shipping and handling so just like we saw in that other one um, you know like the um, Rost and Perina cards was like a dollar it was either a dollar or a dollar fifty and you sent in the little order form and you would they would send you that um, complete sheet of the Rost and Perina cards those 87s I showed yesterday so this one is a bigger set this one has 24 cards which is one sheet and um, so I don't know maybe you sent two dollars and it would come in the complete sheet but it was perforated so you'd break these cards out well I never broke mine out I still have that complete sheet if you go back and look at the video at my brother's house where I'm um, going through that chest where I left some of my cards 
I have that complete sheet, but I know I didn't bring it because it's bigger than the um, the um, cereal one that I showed you yesterday. Um, so I, it wouldn't have fit in my luggage without getting damaged, so I just left it there. Someday I'll have to bring that chest over here. But nevertheless, so let's get to it. So I <laughs> liked Chef Boyardee, obviously, as a teenager and could eat through those cans. And I love baseball cards. And this is from my favorite manufacturer of baseball cards, or oddball, I should say, and that is MSA. They're, I, I don't like them as much as, say, the Rostin Perina. Uh, they're, they're very similar. Um, you know, it's a little dated, but Chef Boy, it's neat, though. It's still pretty neat. And um, I just, I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, maybe it's the color or something, I don't like them as much as some of the more plain cards like I showed you. Um, but these ones are pretty nice. And I had fun getting them because I liked eating. And But I will admit this, these cards have a really nice back for MSA. They're very tops like the back. So there's Mark McGuire. And so it's kind of a very more just that semi shiny cardboard back kind of has a feel of tops except obviously the stats look different you know it's it's not as much but for MSA it's very how do you put it um, very crisp maybe that's the word I should use so these are ordered off of eBay. I got the complete set. Now these cards aren't in great condition, but I don't know. I paid like eight bucks for the whole set and I wanted to have them loose because I didn't want to break apart mine because I wanted to get my Andre Dawson card out of this so that I can um, have one for my binder. So maybe I should order another one. So I have two, one for the complete set, one with this. Um, I want to redo my Kraft macaroni and cheese um video but i can't seem to find my um i don't know what i did with the um panels that i recently bought so i was just looking a little while ago and i didn't see them but i just wanted to get to doing an episode because i want to get this uploaded and do all this before she comes home so i don't have to do it later so as you can see um it says msa down there as well hopefully you can catch that and get some focus here it's time to cut my nails again folks well anyways right here it says MSA 1988 Players Association that's a cool image of the old school Chef Boyardee I don't think they use that image anymore so Mr. Eric Davis who was a superstar back then very good player um, Whenever you got one of his cards, it was always good. You were like, all right, Eric Davis. I did pick up an Eric Davis autograph out of one of those um, archive signature series. So someday I'll get to those, folks. And one of those... Um, um, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese ones. I found at a comic book store that was supposedly signed by him. I looked online and it looked like his autograph, so I don't know. It's not like authenticated or anything, but I'll show you that um, when I get around to the um, craft again. So Mr. Eric Davis, and that is number two of 24. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna find a place to put these cards, folks. Hold on just a moment. All right. Here we go. Hall of Famer, Jack Morris. So there's your first Hall of Famer in this set. You know, I keep saying it. <laughs> Junk Wax Hero's favorite Hall of Famer. <laughs> Not. Uh, but anyways, Jack Morris. 162 wins by 1988. MSA. Players Association logo there and some more stats there so yep pretty nice 
All right. Next, not a Hall of Famer, but a superstar nonetheless, Mr. George Bell. So these cards are a little rough, but who knows? Maybe in 75 years, this will be something like somebody's like, oh man, that's sweet. Oh yeah, and that's what I was, um, when I did the, um, got to sneeze, folks. Excuse me, these must be dusty or something. <clears throat> when I was doing that MSA, um, Rostin Perina 1987 complete sheet and I showed you up at the top of the sheet it said collect honeygram checks complete sheet and then when I showed you the picture on the previous video of that complete sheet because I didn't know I had it here it had a blank spot where the name of the cereal was so uh, that's interesting if they have all the different cereals let's say like it said honeygram checks and then cookie crisp and then toastios or something like that on that complete sh set um that would be interesting like um would people consider that like in 70 years kind of like piedmont and carolina brights and just the different ones that you could have got with a different label you know instead of chef boy rd if it said spaghettios and then it said raviolis or mini ravioli or beefaroni you know like a different back so that's interesting to me 424 george bell all right another hall of famer coming up this card's in pretty good shape ozzy smith now, obviously the centering's not perfect on these things but that's because they're perforated and um so that's just the way it is and these are cool cards they're they're much like the um, like I described, they are about this, maybe a little thicker than your standard, um, like flagship tops card, but slightly thicker feeling, but maybe a little more like recycled paper kind of feeling. Um, <clears throat> if you know what I'm talking about. So Mr. Ozzy Smith, five of 24. All right, Mr. Tony Gwynn, another Hall of Famer. Six of 24. Give you a chance to look at those. Next is another Hall of Famer, King Cal Ripken Jr. Not King Griffey Jr., but Cal Ripken Jr. So, seven of 24. That's a nice one. All right, Todd Worrell is not a Hall of Famer, but solid pitcher at the time. Won Rookie of the Year in '86, apparently. You can stop and read that. Pause this video if you like. So people subscribe, like, and share, and all that stuff. Leave me some comments. Uh, tell me what kind of contest I should do and tell me if you, um, you have any of these cards and what your thoughts are and um, Are they so ugly that they're beautiful like I described I would say these ones are kind of ugly, but kind of cool not as cool as the other ones, but In the ballpark so to speak <laughs> Larry Parrish DH that's funny you get a card as a DH on an oddball set. So let's see, 32 home runs, I guess that's why. Texas Rangers. I'm a buddy Brian, Texas Rangers fan. Congratulations on their World Series. And it was just his birthday, just either yesterday or the day before. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. So I'm sure old uh, Bry likes dude. From the Rangers. You now he's a big Pudge fan. All right, Gary Carter. There's your moment to take a look at that card. All right, here we go. Another one, another great for the Cubbies. My Ryan Sandberg here. So yeah, it's surprised it took me all the way from 1988. I ordered these, got them like. Maybe a month, six weeks 
I don't think it was that long. It probably took them like three to four weeks for these to show up when I ordered them from uh, Chef Boy RD. Um, <clears throat> but so from 1988 till 2023, it took me to finally get another complete set of these cards and these ones you don't really see that often like when you go to like a card show or a card shop and the bargain stuff maybe I've seen one or two and passed on them because they might have been in rough shape but eBay no problem but it's just interesting Keith Hernandez superstar got his autograph signature series I believe or is it Leaf? I think it's Signature Series. 1224, halfway home, folks. All right, 15 minutes in. Hall of Famer Kirby Puckett. They had just won the World Series the year before that. <clears throat> hey, people, um, trust me, I watch my own videos. Set it to one and a half times speed, and I'll sound like a normal person <laughs> without the, the kind of monotone voice that's just the voice I have. And then I'm sitting on the couch here, kind of leaning my head forward, so that might be putting some uh, pressure on my throat, so I can't speak so clearly and loud, with a lot of inflection. <laughs> Jeez. All right, Mr. Kirby Puckett, rest in peace, Hall of Famer. All right, now we're going to get to some more Hall of Famers coming up. Mike Schmidt. Mr. Mike Schmidt today on old style classics baseball cards <clears throat> please tune in to listen to me podcast radio without using the cough button <clears throat> the cubbies are playing in tampa bay tonight i thought they were going to be on uh, espn plus but i guess they're not uh but they were winning one to nothing last i heard but that sucks i was hoping i'd get to watch them Cubbies are having some problems right now, feed people. Having some problems. All right, Frank Viola, Minnesota Twins. World Series winner there, but not a Hall of Famer, I don't think. All right, Mr. Frank Viola, 15 of 24. There you go, you know, Twins fans don't get a lot of cards talked about. All right, and um, <clears throat> there you go. The probably the person with the most um, support for getting in the Hall of Fame who's not in the Hall of Fame at the moment and probably even so from non-Yankees fans um, you'll probably get in there someday that's my 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 feeling Master Don Mattingly 16 of 24 there Yep, so I'm probably not going to get to the second set on this video, so I'll just do another video. And um, maybe I'll space them out a few hours apart. Because I do still have some uh, Bowman and Alan Ginters I want to open too. But maybe I'll record that and just hold on to that um, for one of those days where we're watching a movie or something. And I don't have time to do a video, so maybe I could just release them as a... Hey, last month I did this uh, break. So there you go, Dale Murphy, another one of those guys. A lot of people think should be in. Uh, it's pretty close. Maybe. I think I put Bill Buckner in before him and a couple other guys. All right, here's the best card of the set, people, in my opinion. Andre Dawson for the Chicago Cubs outfield. 1988 first annual collector's edition chef boy rd your national league mvp andre the hawk awesome dawson <laughs> same images like his msa discs uh, king b discs but that's probably why i bought the whole set i was just going to order this single but then the single wasn't that much cheaper than just getting this whole set and um I don't need a tin or anything like that. This is obviously not going to be Andre's most expensive card in our lifetime. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll be the rarest one in 100 years. And it may be something, but right now, not so much. And 
It's not like Andre Dawson cards demand a lot of money. Some of them do, but probably more modern stuff than when he actually played. So that's kind of a shame, but you know, collecting a uh, world and scene and what's the word I'm looking for, folks? Um, the hobby changes over time, so what's down today for some reason may turn out to be uh, something big down the road and I'm just um, hopefully these cards will never get damaged or anything like that or flooded or fire or anything like that I always worry about these sprinklers in this new apartment going off though I'd be screwed uh, but at least I'll have videos of a lot of my cards so I can file insurance but hopefully nothing will ever happen to these cards and I'm just um, temporarily holding on to them during my lifetime and when I'm gone they'll go to somebody who can appreciate cards and not just in the trash because that would be um, that'd be sad legacy so to speak anyways there's my Andre Dawson set him aside because he's gonna go back in the binder all right mr. Mike Scott very good pitcher for the Houston Astros when they were in the National League Mike Scott you know 18 he's always around 18 20 win kind of guy I think it was a strikeout pitcher he was good I think he uh, owned the Cubs he used to stick it to us but Houston was oh, not a great team back then they had some good teams though there you go Hall of Famer Ricky Henderson all right so uh, as far as these cards go, I dig them, I like them, but they're not my favorite MSA set by any means, but they're kind of cool, and they're different enough, you know, that's different. If you like different things, like, um, that really scream oddball, food issue, um, this is a good set to have, if, if you're not the kind of person that's like, oh, that's kind of uh, tacky or something like that. And then, or the images aren't good enough for you, then I, yeah, I can see how you wouldn't want them. But me, I like this kind of stuff. It reminds me of hunting for this stuff. And I haven't said this in a long time, but that's the kind of collector I am. I'm a hunter. Um, so I do get a lot of stuff on eBay now, but in the past I used to just like go through uh, like an antique store and see what I could find. So, or the card store or something like that. I didn't order a whole lot of eBay stuff too often. I did when I finally got to the point where I was like, man, I want that card and I just can't find it. So, yeah, it's convenient, but there's just something fun about hunting for cards, even at this age. <clears throat> All right, Ricky Henderson, he's a solid uh, collectible that people like. Here we go, Mr. Jim Rice. All right. 21 and 24, we're getting there, folks. So, Jim Rice, if you Boston fans, you Red Sox. Ooh. All right, Mr. Wade Boggs fan. I'm sure he has this card. So dust, paper dust. Wade Boggs. Yeah, it's weird. This kind of recycle you kind of paper feel. Always feels like like paper when it gets damp. It doesn't feel wet, but it feels, you know, like when paper gets wet and it kind of feels a little weak. That's what this cardstock feels like. So definitely not something you'd want to put in your bike spokes. That one's got a big crease in there, but that's okay. Hundred years from now, somebody will be like, I just want to have a two or a three of this card. <laughs> somebody will probably get it graded. All right, Roger Clemens, great pitcher, lights out pitcher, but my boy Andre Dawson cracked a home run off of him in the All-Star game uh, in Toronto, straightaway center, halfway up that giant wall. King Griffey Jr. didn't even turn. So, here's my Andre Roger Clemens story. 
I don't know what happened. I don't know if they faced each other afterwards. They probably did when he was playing for Boston. Andre, that is. He was in the American League for a couple years. So maybe he got to face for Clemens again. I don't know how he did against him. Could look that up. All right. And, of course, back in the day, Fernando Valenzuela. So I think Fernando had a solid little run there for the early part of his career from the early 80s into the end of the 80s. And then petered off. Um, and you can see a start to here. 14 wins. Um, so... Rookie of the Year in 81, Cy Young Award, same season. I remember watching him when I was a little kid. They would, were like Fernando Mania, him looking up at his cap while he pitched. It was like, I don't know if it was like Monday Night Baseball or something. Um, but he was a phenomenon when he first came out. And uh, cool, he's from Mexico there, from Sonora. So, hey, that's up in, a, that's near Puerto Penasco or Caborca, I think. Um, I went to a baseball game in Puerto Penasco, or as Americans call it, Rocky Point, to see the Puerto Penasco um, Terrapins, uh, Sharks, whatever shark is in Spanish. And then we drove over to Caborca, and I saw their little stadium there, but we were only there for the afternoon. It would have been nice to go to another game at that little stadium. That was kind of a neat stadium. Very 60s, 70s kind of modern, but small for, you know, like Mexico, but much bigger than the one in Puerto Penasco. So that's interesting. I didn't know you were from Sonora. All right. What would that be? Northwestern Mexico. Cool. All right, folks. So there it is. That is my Chef Boyardee set lots of fun so let's see one two oops missing a few cards all right here we go let's try this again let's see out of 24 we have one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Hall of Famer. So, um, if you're a Hall of Famer collector playing Days Collector, this set, half the set is Hall of Famers. So you may want to use that as a reason for picking up this set. All right, folks. So there we go. Michael Schickner and Associates strikes again with another oddball food issue. Not the most expensive, high-quality set, but still a lot of fun. And um, used to dream about getting cards like this, just like um, kids probably did when they were... Um, Asking for tobacco cards off a minute, you know, people who smoked. Hey, everybody, there it is, Chef Boy RD, 1988. First annual and only annual one, I think. Collector's Edition MSA. Another one down, and then I got another set that we'll do immediately. Cheers. Take it easy. Bye.